Welcome back to Heartland Dual Sport. In today's video, we're going to be answering one of your questions, and I'm going to read the question to you so that I don't mess up the wording on it. But Chip Tax Free said, Do you have a video that explains why you sold your Africa Twin in favor of the KLR? So that's what we're going to answer today. So let's get to the video. Again, thanks for tuning in to Heartland Dual Sport. Again, this is another one of our show and tell Monday videos, and I hope that you find these videos informative as well as fun and entertaining. But today we're gonna actually talk about that. As many of you know, and I've talked about it briefly on the channel in the past, when I was back in Oklahoma, I was an Oklahoma City police officer. I worked for the police department 26 years, and I was knocking on year 27 when I retired. And back in, it was January 1st, of 2021, not January 1st, it was back in January of 2021 when when the wife and I decided it was time to retire and we moved to East Texas. Her father had left her one acre here in East Texas and that's where we moved was on his one acre place that he had. So that's how we ended up doing it. But to answer the question in its fullest, here's the best way I can explain it. Those last two years that I was working on the police department, I don't know if you guys have watched my other channel or not, but I ended up in 2020, I ran my thumb through our joiner doing some woodworking projects. All right guys, so this is a joiner and I'll just show you real quick basically the way this thing works if you don't know anything about it. It's to flatten out wood. So like if you had a crooked tube before, you run it through here. Now what you can't see is these are blades back here and they're hooked onto a cylinder which spin really really fast and it works like if you can picture your granddad's old hand plane which would be this with a single blade at the bottom it's kind of that same principle the way this machine works is that spins really really fast and it's for taking off uh, wood and that's exactly what cut my finger i'll zoom in here a little bit better so you can see that and then like I say this is a safety guard that obviously doesn't work because it's made in the 40s that spring span but and when I did my thumb was messed up um, by the grace of the good Lord up above I did not lose my thumb but that's part of the story and how we came about with getting rid of the Africa twin during those between chopping my thumb off almost completely and the last two years that I was a police officer, when I did recover from my thumb injury, it helped me get my mind right, number one, f to prepare for retirement. Because what if something does happen and you, you had to quit tomorrow? So the thumb injury really is what spurred my retirement more than anything. Because I truly wasn't planning on retiring anytime soon. However, having four months off gave me the time to think about it and get my priorities of life in order. You have a lot of time to think when you can't do nothing. And, and I, you guys know me, I'm too active. I can't just lay around in the bed. But it gave me a lot of time to think, got my mind right, decided to retire. So the last year and a half that I was working, I was working every extra job I could come across, trying to put back money, prepping for retirement. Not only prepping for retirement, but prepping for the move, because I knew it was gonna be expensive to move all our stuff from Oklahoma down to East Texas. It's a 10 hour drive. And that's if you're not messing around at all. So that's a lot of driving time, a lot of gas. And luckily back then the gas was still cheaper than it is now, but it still cost, it still cost us thousands of dollars just to make the trips back and forth. So here's where the Honda Africa Twin comes into play. During that time, and it was either right before I got injured or, or I believe it was right before I chopped off my thumb. I had a guy approach me and he's like, hey, he goes, I know that you've been working a lot of extra jobs and you haven't had time to ride your motorcycle. Would you be interested in selling it? And it, number one, it wasn't for sale. I hadn't advertised it and I hadn't even mentioned to anybody that I was thinking about selling it. I just simply didn't have the time to ride, which is part of the problem that this channel went dormant for a couple of years. It was a combination of calamity of errors between trying to prep for retirement and just not having the time, working all the time, trying to 
put some money back for retirement. And I, I said, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd make, well, he made me an offer. He made me an offer I couldn't refuse. And that is how the Honda Africa Twin got sold. Okay, so now fast forward. We get moved to East Texas. I've been here about a year. We built our wood shop. We got the leather shop up and running. And we're, we're getting our house organized to the point where I'm not working every single day. I'm ready to get back into riding my motorcycle. We're in a beautiful area where I want to ride. And I started looking. The Honda Africa Twin, which I bought mine when I bought it back in 2016 or 2017, was around 10 grand. The Honda Africa Twins in 2022 are around 14 and upwards. And I thought, oh wow, now that, that's quite an increase. 40% <laughs> increase over what I'd paid. Um, and I was like, that, that ain't gonna work. I, I need to find a more affordable bike that will still do what I need it to do. And, and that, guys, you guys know I used to have an old KLR. And again, I briefly skimmed all the different new models because every year they're coming out with new stuff and when I seen that they had just released the KLR in a fuel injected version I was like I don't know what that costs but I guarantee you that's going to be my ride and sure enough it fit my budget and I couldn't be happier. Guys I've got to say this I didn't specifically sell my Honda Africa Twin thinking hey I'm getting rid of the Africa Twin and I'm buying a KLR. I was going through some life changes the bike sold. Again, I didn't even have it for sale. And, and a guy offered me enough money that I just couldn't turn it down. I mean, he offered me almost what I paid for it. So yeah, I, I wasn't going to say no because you, anytime you can find somebody willing to pay what you paid for the bike and you've had it for a couple of years, I think you're silly not to sell because motorcycles are a dime a dozen. Now, of course, I did do a lot of upgrades and everything else. And I figure all the money that I spent on upgrades is just depreciation. I lost that money, but I got most of the money back almost dime for dime what I paid for the bike. So again, I didn't sell my Africa Twin and switch over to the KLR. There was a big life gap there, a little over two years, which explains why we had a vacant two years on the channel with not really too many uploads other than some Jeep uploads here and there. But I, I can't express to you this. The Honda Africa Twin was a great bike. I loved it. I'm not going to ever say that anything other than it was a great bike, guys. As time changed, life changes, and everything else, my budget has obviously changed because I don't make half the money that I used to when I was working full time now, being retired. The KLR fits the bill for me, it fits my budget, and I can't find, couldn't find, a better bike for me. Now again, the KLR is not for everybody, the Honda Africa Twin is not for everybody. But I would say if you could afford either one of them, they're going to be great bikes and something that you're going to be happy with. I love my KLR, we're not getting rid of that thing. We do have our Honda CRF 450RL for sale. And in fact, I've just mentioned it in a video, I haven't even really listed it on on Motorcycle Trader or anything like that. I, knew, I do need to get that done because I need that money to wrap up some of the house build that we're finishing up. So again, guys, I hope that this answers your questions. If you guys have any questions and I find them, it would be easier to answer in a video like we've done in the past. We're gonna make a video specifically for you and answer your questions. So again, if you like our video, give us a big thumbs up. We appreciate your likes, comments, and subscribes. If you don't like our video, Give it a big thumbs down. Hit that button twice so that we get full credit for it. <laughs> Again, guys, we appreciate your likes, comments, and subscribes. May you have a blessed week. I don't care what kind of bike you're riding. Let's get out and ride. <laughs>